Hello, I'm Pauline Adamek and this is Artsbeat LA. American artist Carrie Graber draws on the soft light and warm hues of her Southern Californian landscape to create oil paintings of elegant women within stylish surroundings, often caught in a private moment. Her style is reminiscent of Dutch master painter Vermeer. She also designs and builds some truly lovely furniture. So let's go and meet Carrie. exciting day because you received a very special bottle of wine what can you tell me about it I did um, this is the first time I have one of my paintings on a bottle um, it's by Alex V and it's a new um, <clears throat> winery in Paso Robles and this is only their fourth bottle I think and what I love about them is they work exclusively with artists and so they have featured um, a dancer a perfumer um, a jewelry maker and now a painter. So I'm excited. It's called Summer Satin. It's their Viognier. You're best known as a figurative artist, and this beautiful, handsome book encapsulates 15 years of your career. But I'm curious to know what directs your eye as an artist to form your subjects. I, you know, I don't know if it's necessarily what you paint, but how you paint it. Um, I would say that since I had a traditional education, I mean, formal training at Art Center College of Design, um, you know, a lot of it was based around figure and form, how things move, how things work, how things are constructed, how they're built, how light treats those things. And so I think um, my major uh, interest is to be able to communicate something in a way that maybe other people don't notice. You really do seem to capture the private moments of people, you know, that we don't see. Yeah. And I'm wondering how do you zero in on that? I think it's honesty. It's honesty and it's truth. And it's kind of portraying in a way what might be considered banal. I mean, a glimpse into something that maybe other people didn't really think about. I mean, that's kind of um, a traditional way to approach private moments. Many, many artists have done that in the past. And because I'm kind of more about, I guess, light and design and the shape of the light and how it cuts through something. So, I mean, there's a psychological aspect to it. I was an illustration major. You want to illustrate, you want to illustrate an idea. Okay. First and foremost, there has to be a story. There has to be an idea. Right. Because there seems to be a narrative behind these figurative paintings. You know, yeah. she's dressing to go out. She's waiting for her boyfriend. She's putting her shoe on. You know, yeah. these are beautiful private moments. So you mentioned design a moment ago, so that's interesting to me because you're, you took a transition with your subject matter from figurative to ar the architectural, and how and why did you do that? That's a big, big, big question. Um, I think it was a very, very, very slow, gradual evolution of ideas and observation and realization that um, buildings are built to suit a person. Um, furniture is built to suit a person. Um, I came up with this little thing that I tell people um, that the perfect vessel, aside from another human being, is a perfect lounge chair. So, you know, it's, it's an easy transition to say, how do people occupy their spaces? How, do, how does light treat spaces? Um, I went to Art Center, it's a modern building. Yeah. Uh, all along I was collecting furniture from Salvation Army in Pasadena during college and I would pick these things up and haul them home and take them apart and try to make them look nice. And after a while I realized there was something, what is that? And then it hit, oh, you know, okay, it's, it's modern, it's design. So you mentioned that your father had a wood shop when you were growing up, so how old were you when you tried your hand at woodworking? Um, little. Very, very little. Um, I would go into the wood shop and fashion swords and knives and shields and all sorts of atrocious weaponry to play with the neighborhood kids. I mean, at one point, um, there was a bow and arrow event with trash can lids and things like that. So just playing around, of course, I would, I would fashion things that would entertain us. So what kind of woodworking are you doing today? Um, I make solid walnut tables and um, credenzas and nightstands and 
I didn't go to school for it, obviously, but my dad, you know, he's got a pretty developed shop and the bandsaw is my favorite thing right now. So anybody can purchase one of your wood art pieces from your website, carriegraber.com. Yeah, they can go there and look to see what's available or commission me for uh, a custom piece. Well, thank you very much for making time to talk to Artsbeat LA. It was really wonderful to chat to you today. Thanks for talking to me. My pleasure.